This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Hey everybody, today I wanted to do a jean collection video for you guys and just kind of a guide on denim. Each pair I'm just going to style with a plain white t-shirt. This one's from AIM Studio. It's my all-time favorite white tee. It's double lined, you don't have to wear a bra with it. And then I'm gonna wear my New Balance sneakers from GOAT and this little purse I can link below for you guys it's from Etsy. I wanted to style with really basic things because I wanna show how different all of these fits and colors and styles can look. All the jeans that I can will be linked down below and let's get started. These first jeans I think are going to be a crowd favorite. They are honestly what I'd suggest to anybody who still has their skinny jeans and really likes them. Personally, I don't really like skinny jeans. I haven't for probably a year now or so, but if that's the style that flatters you the most, wear them. I don't care if it's not in style or if it is in style. I personally like following trends because they're fun to me, but if you have a pair of jeans that are in style anymore or aren't trendy anymore, but you feel most confident in them, they're gonna look trendy when you wear them. Whatever you feel confident in, you're gonna look good in when you wear it. So if you really don't think that straight leg or wide leg or boot cut or flare is flattering on you, you're not gonna look trendy when you wear it because you're not gonna feel confident. And that's really the overall arching thing for all trends, being confident when you wear them. That's my spiel, over it. These jeans though are from Aritzia, they're the brand Denim Forum. These are in a size 25. I'd say Denim Forum runs a little bit big because I have some like room to breathe the first time wearing them. Normally I like getting a pair of denim that's a little tight and then as you wear them, they'll like mold to your body nicely. The like blogger 2018 style that like everybody was wearing where they hit like right above the ankle. This is my ideal length on me. I think they look good with like sandals, heels, sneakers, all that. And like this, this is a cute outfit. That's me. Let's go to another pair similar to these. Okay, next. Does it even look like I changed? I think it does. These are the Levi's ribcage denim. I really don't like these. I never reach for them because I'd rather reach for the Aritzia ones. Levi's like true denim. I've got a bone to pick with them. <laughs> Levi's true denim that like doesn't stretch. I swear it's not made for like hips or I haven't found the right pair. Or maybe it's just ribcage. But these are at a 26 and I'm normally a 25 and they have quite a bit of room on the back, like waist area, and honestly all around my waist. It's just pretty big, but here is so tight. Right on my hips, it's like kind of pulling. These are a lot more high-waisted than the last pair, and they're a little bit shorter. I would say lean towards the Aritzia ones. They're a lot cheaper too. I think these were around 130, and I'll probably end up selling them. I, I love this wash, and I love this like, style and this fit they just aren't very comfy to me because they're so tight literally only right here next <laughs> after i just harped on skinny jeans this is about as like skinny genie as i'll go and i like these jeans normally only to like tuck into boots they're more of a mom fit though maybe they are kind of skinny jeans i don't know but the reason i hold on to these is because i got them from a vintage store and like a curated vintage shop. So they're around 40 bucks, but they're vintage Lee. And I've never had a pair of like jeans make my butt look so good. So I can't let them go. Like denim, all these will come back into style, obviously. So maybe one day I will want to wear skinny jeans again. I don't know, they're just, they're really not as flattering on me, like the bottom half as the other ones to me. But the actual like waist and butt area, I love these so much vintage denim like they were made for people to like have a bit of a booty and have a smaller waist and like big thighs and stuff which was like that's what i need not that i have a big booty and a little waist but i'm definitely not that i'm not what levi's wants me to be to fit in their jeans <laughs> okay on to our first low-waisted pair of jeans these i thrifted from a goodwill 
This was my last thrift before coronavirus became like a thing. But their Tommy Hilfiger is the brand. I got them I think for around $3 at a Goodwill, which is just so crazy to me. They're just a really baggy like boyfriend kind of fit. And I know people are against like the low rise thing, but I really like it because I do think that it flatters my body a lot better than the high-waisted jeans just because high-waisted jeans can make me lose my figure like completely and they do make me lose like the hourglass kind of look because my my butt isn't very like nice <laughs> or big or whatever so the low-waisted jeans since it hits right here there's normally like <laughs> see my butt doesn't even fill these pants out like that's how little of a butt I have but it kind of like gives this like pooch all the time of an illusion of having a bigger butt or just like a cuter little more perky butt in my opinion and I like how that looks so for me the low waisted works um, the high waisted skinny jeans literally were doing nothing for me absolutely nothing these pants make me take back everything I've ever said about high waisted pants <laughs> these are so flattering to me they're from LA Apparel and they're size 26 they fit like a 25, 24 on the, ah, I'd say 25, on the smaller end of 25, because I normally wear a 25, and these are pretty tight around the waist. Luckily, they hit a part of my waist that's like, like gooey, and can go in more. So I feel like that's why they're so flattering, is because the waist is so tiny, um, and way smaller than what I'm used to in jeans. They have a really nice wide leg, and I feel like that doesn't normally happen for me where if the waist is so small, the like pant leg is wider. These are definitely a lighter denim. I wish they were a little darker denim. I'm pretty sure Jackson's showering, so I'm so sorry if you can hear that now. Next, pants. I know that these are going to get a lot of mixed reviews, probably mostly negative things said about them, but I don't care because I like them. I know they do nothing for my figure. I know they're not flattering. My butt literally looks like a saggy sausage in them. Yeah, all around, all negative things to say. They don't even fit me their size. I think 32. So unrolled, they sit <laughs> like that. But I like them rolled. I think that this is a super fun and ice is falling from our roof. I think that this is a super fun and like just super trendy look. This is something I'm going to look back on in probably a year and think what was wrong with me. But I think that's fun. You're going to do it no matter what, so why not have fun with it? Go all out and then you can laugh at yourself. I actually thrifted them for my boyfriend and I gave them to him and then he found another pair. So he was like, do you want them back? And I said, sure. So now they're mine. They're Levi 505s and they're 32. I normally wear a 26 in Levi's. I think they're fine, okay you guys? These are the jeans everyone and their mother had last year. They're from a Goldie and they're my most expensive pair of pants. Not even just jeans, they're my most expensive. Probably a piece of clothing that isn't a winter jacket. They're $180. As much as I love them, and I wore the absolute crap out of them. I just really don't reach for them anymore because I'm not a fan of gaping holes. I did this to myself though. They used to be a lot more like closed, you know? Your girl dropped it low to one too many times at the bar last year and I ripped all the knee holes open. So that's my own issue. There's also like this little butt one that ripped a little bit too open. I love the length of these and the fit of these though. These are in a 25 and a Goldie definitely runs big. I should have gotten a 24 in them, but it's kind of a look to have them a little loosey-goosey. Um, these also fit super straight though. I don't think they give a lot of room for like hips and a booty because I can feel that like they're kind of just fitting around my thighs here. I've gained weight since last year. Last year they were like big all around, but now they feel a little tight here and then they're still baggy around the waist. Do I recommend these? No, don't spend $200 on them. Are they cute? Yeah, if you find them on Poshmark or Depop for a cheaper price, if they go on sale, buy them. Here's another really trendy pair. These I got off of Nasty Gal last year, right before I left for Mardi Gras. They are the super trendy, like, split hem bottom jeans. I still really like these. They make your legs look really long because the back just goes, like, straight down and doesn't bunch at all which I think is really flattering. And then having them high-waisted too, 
My legs just look like miles long. I still reach for these pretty often considering they're nasty gal jeans, which is super inexpensive. And they've lasted me a year, so I feel like that's pretty good. Nasty Gal at the time was the only place to get these jeans. Now you can find these anywhere at the split hem. I wanted to put on a black crew neck because these jeans looked funny with a white t-shirt. These are a pair of wide-legged white denim jeans from ASOS. They are one of my favorites. I got them around two years ago, and I wear the absolute crap out of them. Um, they might have some discoloration because one time I was coming home from the bar, and I threw up all in the Uber and all over these pants. The Uber dropped us off on the expressway. It was a big ordeal, but I didn't get charged for puking the Uber because they dropped us off on the expressway and that's super illegal. That's a different story for a different time. White denim, I still love white denim. I think it looks super chic. Like this outfit, again, just works. I wanted to say like about all these styles, if skinny jeans are something you still like to wear, there is no doubt in my mind that you can still make skinny jeans look trendy. I think when you follow the trends for jeans, like fits and colors and styles kind of thing, it just makes it a lot easier to dress super plain and look trendy instead of wearing skinny jeans and kind of having to like zhuzh them up a lot more. Does that make sense to you guys? So in my head, I'd rather wear trendier fits because you can style them a lot easier and look super like just current and modern. And I thought of that too with like these white jeans because this looks really cute and trendy to me. I've said trendy a hundred times, but if I were to have white denim skinny jeans or even worse, white denim capris, this outfit would be terrifying. Um, especially with white denim, I'd say stick with a wider cut fit. I don't care what you wear again, I'm giving you tips and tricks. Tricks. <laughs> okay, and here are the last pair, another pair of low-waisted jeans. These are just super like early 2000s type of feel. These my mom actually picked out for me at the thrift store. They're just vintage Levi's bootcut jeans. And you might be able to see in the close-ups, but somebody actually darted them in the back and they darted them to my size. So thank you to whoever did that before me with these. I like the flare cut jeans or bootcut jeans, whatever you want to say. I think they're really flattering and yeah. But that's it for my jeans collection. I hope you guys enjoyed and got something out of it or maybe got some inspo if you're looking to buy some new jeans. Check the description box, I'll have all the jeans linked down below. And if I find any similars to any of the vintage ones, I can link those down below for you guys as well. I hope this gave you some inspo if you're scared to wear skinny jeans anymore, but honestly, don't be scared, wear whatever you want. Obviously, all these jeans aren't trendy, they're just what I like. So wear what you like. Well, I'll see you guys in a few days. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. I love you so much. Bye. Before this video ends, I want to say thank you again to our sponsor, Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for, I think, three years now. I've had my website portfolio up for job hunting, but I still love having my portfolio there and being able to capture and share all of my creative work. I know so many of you guys are graduating or graduated out there job hunting and Squarespace is the perfect website to create your perfect portfolio. Along with portfolios, another aspect of Squarespace that I love and know all of you will appreciate is the ability to connect all your social media accounts. Our creativity comes from so many different medias now, it's important to have a place where they can all come together and be found with ease. Squarespace allows you to display posts from your social profiles on your website. Automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels as your followers can share it too. An important backbone to any successful growth on the internet has to be analytics. Squarespace gains powerful insights about your site's visitors and how they interact with your content with the analytics tools. Learn more about your page views, traffic sources, time on site, most read content, audience geography, and more. If you've ever thought about curating an online portfolio or starting a social media presence, Check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Ozark to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Seriously, I can't recommend it enough. I've been using Squarespace for years. Definitely check them out.